Who's in the Loo? by Jean Willis and Adrian Reynolds. Who's in the Loo? There's a very long queue. Is it an elephant having a poo? They're taking forever. Now who could it be? A whale who's doing the world's biggest wee? Is it a tiger who needed a tiddle? A wandering wombat who wanted a whittle? A waddling penguin too frozen to piddle? Is it a rhino who had a hot curry? It could be a tortoise. Well, they never hurry. Whoever it is, it's a bit of a worry. Perhaps it's a hamster who can't reach the seat. Or maybe a monkey who's washing his feet. Or a snake who's just sitting there sucking a sweet? Perhaps it's a poor little velvety mole who reached for the paper and fell down the bowl and is bobbing about like a damp bit of coal. Has a hippo's fat bottom got wedged in the pan? Is a rat being sick after eating a flan? Or is a cat sailing its catamaran? Who's in the loo? That's what we'd like to know. And why are they being so terribly slow? We're all getting desperate. It's our turn to go. Is it a crocodile clipping his nails? Is it a school of skunks washing their tails? Or is it a coach load of elderly snails? Perhaps it's a sloth who has fallen asleep. Or is it a shepherd who's dipping his sheep? Or a leopard who's changing his spots. Have a peep. Is it a stoat who's making a stink? Or a pig who's washing his pants in the sink? Perhaps it's a poor voice. Well, what do you think? Who's in the loo? We just don't have a clue. Bang on the door, it's all we can do. We heard a small voice. It said, I'm in the loo. I'm just doing what my mum told me to do. But it takes me forever. No one understands. It was an octopus washing his eight little hands. Thanks for watching Love to Read with Miss Ellis. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Take care. Bye for now.